All right. Here we go again. Same deal as last time. One hour on the clock, and this time I'm actually going to put a uh, timer on the video because I was messing about in Shotcut and found that that stuff is actually super easy to do. Unlike the last time I tried doing it on a video, which was with uh, Avicent, which was an absolute nightmare. So, when we left off, I think we were outside Lon Lon Ranch. Didn't get a huge amount done last time, but current priority is getting a Pona. That means getting money, which means we're probably going to want to go back to Child Link. Um, also, Carolyn, a friend of mine, is also playing through the randomizer, and she gave me some ideas with some of the stuff she's been doing. So we're going to try some of that. Hopefully, actually get Dodongo's Cavern done with uh, one of the things she reminded me you can actually do. So, one hour on the clock. Let's go. Okay. So. We need 60 rupees to challenge uh, Ingo for Epona. Before we do that, we are going to take this shot at Dodongo's Cavern. Because that is hopefully going to get us some rupees. Because the thing is, once we've got Epona, then we can get into... Um, once we've got Epona, we can get into Gerudo's Fortress. And there's things we can get in there. We also need 200 rupees to get the um, Zora tunic. A big thing we need to do is find a bottle as well. We haven't found a bottle yet. I have some ideas about that. Uh, we've got the uh, second shooting gallery game, but again, that's going to be dependent on finding more rupees. Basically, a lot of stuff right now that we can't do is based around our lack, of, our basic lack of lack of funds, really. Move along, thank you. We need to sort out some... We need to get some magic beans as well. That's something that needs doing. So yeah, one of the things Carolyn reminded me you can do is... Because, like, this is never something that you ever would do. Is go into Dodongo's Cavern and actually complete the temple as an adult. Because why would you ever do this? Like, there is no reason why you would ever go into Dodongo's Cavern as an adult. You can complete the whole thing as a child, and then you're done with it. But, you can go in here and do the temple as an adult. And that means that thing that we got stuck with on the last run through... I think that's out of reach. Yes, it is. All right, we need the long shot for that. But yeah, a lot of the things that... Yeah, a lot of the things that we couldn't do last time through because of lacking certain things. Are going to be much easier to do now. Because we have the bow. Like we were stuck last time because we didn't have the slingshot. 
but with the bow we can hit that target, we can drop that fire, and we can actually move through and hopefully def uh, finish this dungeon. And we have the compass as well, which is... And we have the compass as well, which means it's going to be easier for us to make sure we've got all the chests. This is all still theory, of course. There's still... There's still things I might be forgetting. So yeah, this is what stuck us last time. But now, because we've got the bow, we can actually hit that target. And actually move on. Also, we're rocking the Master Sword, so these guys go down a lot quicker. As for example... And an easy way back to that other room downstairs. Also having the Goron tunic means we don't get burned if we fall off the platform. At least not immediately. And this is the chest that would normally contain the bombs. And is completely useless to us here. Right. That's just pots. Yeah. No further chests up here. Press that. That raises up that pillar to give us a shortcut back. From here, I think it's just dropping the bombs in the eyes. Of which we massively screwed that up. There we go. Fell down, but we have a way back up. So before we go in there, there is a chest over here. Ah, dungeon map. Okay. Should have guessed that's what it was going to be, really. Right, so before we go in here, a quick look to make sure there's nothing we've missed. There isn't. So that's all this dungeon has to offer, aside from Dodongo himself. So... I don't think there's any way of skipping this. At least not that I can do. There's probably some weird backflip trick that you can do. Yeah. 
And we can clamber up on there, which I don't think you can do as a child. All oh, right, there's a gold sculpture. And we don't need a bomb to kill those things this time. Right, that's nine. One more, and we can go to the House of Sculpture and see what they've got. Alright, oh, we need to actually walk around there. I forget if you can do this for the Great Decu Tree as well. I th think you can. I think the only reason you can't do it for Jabu Jabu is because Jabu Jabu physically isn't there as a child, as an adult. But the Deku Tree is definitely open. Alright, I forgot there's a chest over there. Those weird chests that's in a boss room. And of course it's a nice chest. Of course it was a nice chest. Well, that's two of them out of the way at least. as adult with the extra in attack power of the master sword it's an incredibly quick fight Now we just need to see Shadow Medallion. Right, so that was worth doing. We got a medallion. We didn't get much in the way of money, though. Possibly going to want to go back to um, go back to Child Link and go to the pot room in the in Harul Market Town. Because that and the two red rupees on the bridge are the easiest way I know of getting like quick money in this game. We can also, after doing that, go to um, um, the trees in Harul Castle that have um, gold sculptures in them, and that will get us up to ten.
Expand. Ah, texture loading. Problem with it taking so long for us to have got the... The problem with it taking so long for us to get the cockery sword in the initial stages of the run was there were a lot of gold sculptures that we just kind of had to leave behind. I was very much not a fan of doing that. there's anything that we can actually get oh rupee I don't think there's anything we can actually get from the happy mask shop because I think that stays as just masks right I know there's a couple rupees up here time. There's a gold sculpture in here too, if I remember. So we got about 38 rupees from that. And then if we go do the... Grab the red rupees from atop these chains. That'll be another 40. And that should give us more than enough money. At least for the time being, for what we want to do. I knew it dropped somewhere around there. Right, and there's another gold sculpture by the actual palace entrance. Pretty sure we went to that Great Fairy's Fountain and there was nothing there. And there's rupees in this in the moat as well.
Hmm. The one time. Lens of trees can be found at Gerudo Valley. Yeah, we already found that. Wait, the gossip stones in. The problem with that is we need the boomerang to get it. But at least that's the thing we know exists now. I'm trying to remember the damn Nocturne of Shadow because we need to get back to Kakariko. happens and it's really annoying. Right, so. We get whatever's in the House of Sculptula for um, for ten gold Sculptulas. Then we go to Oh, it's right on. It's that weird period of Ka in Kakariko where it's like just on the brink of night time. This guy. Thanks, that's not terribly helpful. Right. That wasn't very useful. So next stop is Lon Lon Ranch. Saw Stone of Agony pop up just then. Is there another hidden grotto around here? Hmm. I should probably keep a closer eye on that. It's apparently much more useful than I ever gave it credit for. You know, still not what I would call useful. So, to Lon Lon Ranch, because when you buy your first bottle of Lon Lon milk from Talon, that is effectively a bottle, and that counts as an item, which means Talon has an item.
I should also be talking to more gossip stones. Like, if they give you clues as to where things are... That's something I didn't know was a thing. Nothing. Nothing. I know there's one in the ranch itself. Tell on what you got for me. I thought you gave me a bottle. It's supposed to give me an item. God damn it. Anyway, there's a gold sculpture around here. Right, so. Next thing. Back to adult. Check out um, the Great Decu Tree. See if we can complete that as an adult as well. If we can, great. If we can't, not a big deal. We can go to Lon Lon Ranch. We can get upon her. That gets us into Gerudo Valley. And then we can think more about what we need to do after that. There's also songs to think about. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember what songs I've gotten and from where. Because we got Zelda's Lullaby, we got Saria's song... Got Epona's song, got the Sun song, got the Song of Storms. This isn't the way I want to go either. What's the sixth? What's the sixth song? Zelda's Lullaby, Epona's song, song. Oh, Song of Time, yeah, of course. Because we got that. So it's just. So it's just the locations of teleportation songs that we need to look at now. So one of those is going to be after we finish the forest temple. So Saria's song is... So it's not going to be where the Serenade of Light would be. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to go talk to these gossip stones out here, see if they've got any hints. <sighs> Bigger run. Bomb bag, lost words. Bottom of the well is the way of the hero. I'm trying to think of what way of the hero might mean. Does that mean just contain things you need to get? No, it can't mean things you need to get to Child Link. Does that mean, like, things you need to do for other reasons? Once we've got the magic meter, we can then clear out the bottom of the well.
Because I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. I think we actually did bottom of the well without the sword. The Zora scale being at bigger on though, that is useful. That is very useful information because that means I know where we can get the hover boots. Because the hover boots are at the bottom of Lake Hillia. Only question is, is it the silver or the golden scale? So I think it might actually be worth heading up Death Mountain to go and talk to bigger on because even if it's just the silver scale oh I didn't I didn't know that gossip stones could give you hints that's actually a way of making them useful. I should I should have assumed that the randomizer would do something to make gossip stones useful. All right, once more up the mountain. Bigger run means going right to the top of the mountain as well. Which is thankfully a lot easier as an adult. I think at least. I can't remember if the mountain still explodes. What was in here? Oh, this cow. It's just an option for milk, isn't it? Yeah. Not having a bottle is really constraining us right now. Well, time to make the run up the mountain. Oh yeah, it doesn't it doesn't explode, we have to Or rather it does explode, but it's a bit more targeted, it's not entirely focused on you. Hey. And there's that tech techie just randomly bouncing around up there. What do you got? The bottom of the well holds Naru's love. That is not a particularly useful. Bigger run. Right, bigger ones in Goron City. What 
was in here? Oh, it's a great fairy's fountain. Forget if I got anything from here. Okay, that's just a health refill. We did already get whatever was there. Probably wasn't anything useful. Right. So we need to go to Goron City. There's a bomb crack over here. Oh, hello. Mask of Truth yields a DQ shield. Wow, that really... That really justifies us not bothering to do all the Happy Mask stuff. Okay, so there's no way of getting to Goron Valley through there, because we need the hammer to break those rocks. So we take the easy way down. Well, easy way. With how much I've played this game, you'd think I'd know how to get down Death Mountain by now. Right. Right, so. That means that there is... That means that the Zora's scale is at the end of the trading sequence. Nothing in there, is there? No, I already got that. So. This is another Song of Storms one. Bloody hell. Stone of Agony is actually earning its keep. This is incredible. Ocarina of Time teaches Saria's song. So that means... I can't remember if that means we have to get the three... It can't mean we have to get the three spiritual stones. Yeah, that can't mean we have to get the three spiritual stones. That's back to the Lost Words. That can't mean we have to get the three spiritual stones, because we don't know where those, those are. But if that's what holds... But if that's what has Saria's song... Then does that just mean... So 
What's up, Medigor? Okay, so we need five more rupees. Should be able to find that around here. Nothing back here, is there? No. Oh, right, this thing. We need the long shot to get across there. of the trading sequence has the Zora's scale. Oh, this fucking thing. I forgot about this area. If memory serves, there's a chest in here somewhere. And the question is, can you find it before... The question normally is, can you find it before you run out of bombs? And there's those hammer bits over there as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, silver gauntlets. That is useful. That is really useful. Especially in here. <laughs> I'm lifting big things. Right, that comes from the spirit temple, if I remember rightly. I can't remember if it's a mandatory item. Alright, so now we have 200 rupees. We can go and buy whatever it is that Medigoron has. Oh, it is just the giant's knife. Okay. So we're now right back where we started. Hmm. So that was just the giant's knife. We need that to get whatever it is that Biggeron has. So it wasn't a complete waste of time. And that will eventually get us the bigger and like not the bigger and sword, but whatever it is that you know, whichever version of the Zora scale that bigger and has. Right. Next point to call, Cockery Forest. See if we can finish the great Decu tree as an adult. How long have we got? 15 minutes. That is enough time to finish the great Decu tree. <laughs> it's not a very long dungeon.
if we can't, the other thing I'm thinking of is I haven't even... I haven't even tried yet to go and look at the ice cavern. So, silver gauntlets... Semi-useful for moving around. But their real utility... The ones we really want are the golden gauntlets, because that will open up the great fairies fountain outside Ganon's castle. Even if that's pretty much all they do. I might be wrong, but I think that might actually be required for go time as well. Cockery Forest, much more dangerous place as an adult. That's it, down you go. No, Decutri is closed as an adult, right. So, oh, that thing respawns. Fantastic. There was a gold sculpture behind there. There's definitely a gossip stone up by the uh, entrance to the Lost Woods, so we can go speak to that and see if we can get another hint. Hopefully a useful one. I think what the stone was shaking at just there was the grotto that I opened as a child. Right. So, to Zora's domain. And see if we can get into the ice cavern. Something here? Yes, there is.
probably should have got some money before coming in here. Okay, they're just potions. Something else we could do if we came back here as a child would be uh, getting more from the frogs. Because I don't think they they appear as uh, an adult. Come back as a child. We did, I think, um, two songs for them as child. two more regular songs so we can get at least two more things from the frogs that's currently the backup plan if we can't get into if we can't get to the ice cavern, but I think we can. Yeah, we can. The concern there was going to be that King Zora was going to be a slap in the middle and blocking us from getting out to the fountain. But we can get out here, which means we can get into the ice cavern. Shit, is that double health? That is absolutely double health over there. <laughs> Holy nuts! That's a big thing to find. Even if, you know, the odds of us ever running out of health are pretty low. I forgot there was a thing there. God damn it. We're not going to be able to complete the ice cavern because, again, we don't have a bottle. And I know you need red fire, uh, blue fire, sorry, to complete it, but... We can at least have a look and see if there's anything we can get in here. Because there are a lot of chests in here. Right, freezes.
Did I get turned around? I totally got turned around. That was annoying. That means we're gonna have to kill the freeze sits again, isn't it? Oh no, they still they stay dead. Alright, there's no other ways through here, right? Good. To be honest, we can probably walk into the blade with impunity, given that we already have half given we have half damage, there's like a quarter of a heart. If you have a VR headset, by the way, there is an excellent um Steam VR environment of um, Zora's Domain and the Ice Cavern that I think is well worth having a look at. Yeah, and I think this is the part where we uh, run out of ability because we need red fire to move, blue fire to move on. We need blue fire to move on. We don't have a bottle, which means we can't get blue fire. So this was a bust. So a brief recap of what we are currently looking for. We need the Megaton Hammer to complete the Fire Temple. We need a Magic Meter to do so many things and to take a shot at the Shadow Temple. We need a Diving Scale of some description to get the Hover Boots so we can complete the Shadow Temple. Hmm. 